Hey, this is Greg Shields, and you found another of my courses in this learning path on System Center Operations Manager 2016. This time on the use of SCOM to monitor the services and applications atop Windows Server 2016. I am Author Evangelist and a full-time author here at Pluralsight, and I've been working with Operations Manager since back in the days when it was lovingly referred to as MOM. Getting SCOM operational is one thing, actually figuring out how to use it is quite another. A very different experience from really any of the other System Center solutions, getting started with SCOM sometimes requires some, I don't know, secret knowledge that isn't easy to figure out yourself. While yes, that knowledge isn't necessarily secret, it can be difficult to start monitoring even basic Windows services without a few key lessons in how SCOM targets and monitors the objects in a data center. In this course, we'll start with the same SCOM infrastructure we built in that last installing course in this learning path, as well as the same example RDS infrastructure as our target for monitoring. We'll install a few of Microsoft's downloadable management packs and then tune them using overrides to better match which behaviors we're looking for. We'll create a few custom views and dashboards to visualize the data our SCOM agents are now gathering. We'll even create some custom rules and monitors of our own to gain insight into behaviors that aren't part of someone else's management pack. And we'll leave with everything we need to start building our own environment-specific distributed applications for a single glimpse view of the health of our services. If you've just been tasked with monitoring Windows Server 2016 using System Center Operations Manager, this course is your next stop in brushing up on those skills for success. And then from here, you'll be ready to continue on the learning path as you monitor Azure resources and web applications. Let's get started.